to continue with our Komi tunnel of love for another few episodes. Then we'll change into Sex and the Red City, maybe. <laughs> sex and the City. Stealing the name from the famous Sex and the City, which was about sex. And then this should be, in a way, uh, spoiler alert, or enticing about sex in the city, which was red. I mean, red as in Komi red. And this is Nikki, Nicoletta, we're talking about. Uh, one of the sexiest girls you could meet. I mean, a, a grown woman, now she should be... Uh, what, 50, 2, 3, to my 35? <laughs> uh, stunning, uh, stunning beauty, and she had a way I mean, she was uh, extremely well-shaped, uh, beautiful eyes, face, everything. Um, perhaps not, not the best ankles. I mean, I, that's as far as I can remember. I mean, just for just to place some, something to uh, <clears throat> to make her less perfect, <clears throat> which is an oxymoron, of course. You know, we are perfect or not? You know, can't be less, or we are always less than perfect. So anyway, uh, but she had this uh, sexiness. She had this, this, in a way, sick pleasure to 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 be seductive, to be um, attractive. To, she, she, she very sensuous. Clearly, I, mean, I would say by far the most sensuous, and the most uh, sexiest woman. Uh, an extreme, another extreme that comes to mind, and she is at least worth <laughs> two episodes here, uh, in spite of the very short, the, what was it, a bit over a month, maybe, uh, the princess, that was an extreme, that was the only woman who tied me up. I mean, not the use of force, <clears throat> oh, oh yes, she did, force of will, force of um, <clears throat> the psychological, the uh, not the physical force, but she was extremely uh, forceful, st strong in, in terms of determination. Of her, uh, <clears throat> libido was <laughs> was a force uh, to to uh, uh, to be aware of. I mean, you couldn't be unaware of, uh, <clears throat> and. Um, It's not nymphomaniac, that's not the word, but she was into sex and she was, uh, we had sex in the Moldovica monastery and then in Horez, not in the monastery because there wasn't enough place for us and besides she had a relative there and this is where she, she suggested and she <coughs> tied my hands. But we're not there yet, I'm, I'm just giving a, 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 a sort of a parallel. So, Nikki was... <coughs> Um, vibe is a word they keep using today, sending all those vibes, and she was um, sending this message, oh, I'm so willing, I'm so sexy, and I, I'm so uh, attractive, and I, uh, all these um, <coughs> basic instincts, all these basic instincts are awake, awakened in you, and then you have to see that uh, it, it, <coughs> and, and perverse <laughs> and a virgin. And that's how I left her to, <laughs> to reach the conclusion already. Uh, not that it was it, it was without sex. Well, it was for quite some time. Uh, but uh, still and this need to be needs to be said for now without waiting to reveal it uh, with knowing to know her better and so on. because it's also an incredible extraordinary formula i mean how could you be so sensuous and so uh, uh, alluring in all the movements you have the voice the stance you have can you come will you come or how about 
not too many. So I'm I'm exaggerating a little, <laughs> but still, and I'm I'm trying, of course, to send vibes which I don't have. I mean, I, especially now that I'm 35, <laughs> I didn't have them when I was with her, and that was at the age of what was that? Um, I guess about 24, and she was 23, and she was 19, 20. 21, a, a, a little bit of a difference there, not a huge one. She was at ASE, the Academy of uh, Social and Economical Sciences. Um, <clears throat> then, not so much of a, of a, of a, uh, <clears throat> Ivy League top university. Mm, uh, indeed, they, they had jokes, silly stupid sexist jokes with, with this, I'm sorry, another. Now it's it, it's in demand. In, in my time, languages was extra, extraordinarily looked for. Now Professor Lupitalian was telling me the sound now, which is, it means five years ago. From the pandemic, I haven't begun, but I'm, I'm still thinking. Maybe I should and I spare, because then the means of things. Why the fuck do you do this? Or, a comment in Russian I had, I hate skinheads, which I guess it's me because I thought of skin skinheads um, as in um, other type, but he must have meant me. Why tell me he hates skinheads? Unless he's telling me he hates me. Or I, I don't know. It, it, Russian, I don't know. I've learned some words. I had a Russian teacher lover well we need to wrap this up soon because the enemy is at the gates that is the spouse, the spouse. okay uh, uh, rules of the game if the door is unlocking cut it's abrupt end to the stop and we'll continue tomorrow um so i, I but i had a copy the trans google translate to, to find out the skin hate, hatred. Um, <clears throat> or maybe I mentioned skin heads and I hate them and he's agreeing with me. Or he thought one character is a skin head. So maybe was that was one favorite comment in a thousand videos. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, uh, trying to get back. Um, so, um, Nikki. Nikki was this explosive community of a, of a femme fatale and a virgin. I, what? Which is... What the fuck? Yeah. Which is, on the other hand, explainable how? I mean, she had these repressed... She wasn't allowed. She had a very uh, domineering father. No way, Jose. Uh, nothing doing. I want to go out tonight. No. Uh, can we, we, we go together, my sister, she had a sister, uh, and can we stay until, because it was agreed, or can we stay after 10, or 9, I don't know, something very, very, um, um, reasonable, yes. no, you, you, you leave at 8, or something, he was, who, oh, oh, ha, uh, Jack, um, Al Pacino in Santa Bowl, which I didn't like. Santa Bowl. I mean, yeah, I, the films before, of course. Yeah. Even Bobby Diff, I keep saying, both been destroyed by the critics, not seen by anybody except me and some other people. But yes, fabulous. But <clears throat> Santa Bowl. Uh, <clears throat> and because of that, because of this. Uh, Ton of restriction, these uh, harsh uh, dictatorial rules in a dictatorship. You, she had a uh, she was under pressure, and she had this need to, I don't know, have sex to vent off. She had the archetypal, the psychomans would say, repressed desires. So she was emanating this femininity, which she could not. She couldn't really enjoy. She couldn't. She couldn't put in practice any of these rules. We'll see. We'll go. <laughs> but then, 
all the messaging like uh, to end then we'll continue tomorrow uh, in a way what comes to mind is I, I was watching this um, again and again we have a channel which is in a loop every day it has American cinema it has this documentary 10 episodes I'm gonna make and, and uh, for some time I was watching it again and again <laughs> you can switch the channel and now I haven't seen it again in a few years I don't know but it needs it, it's wonderful it's classic it's the the, the fabulous movies or uh, some like it hard you see what I mean uh, scenes the best ending uh, nobody's perfect when uh, Jack Lemmon says well you know I'm a man he was in, in the dress as a woman and okay uh, and um, they were t talking censorship a hundred years ago, 80 years ago. They had, had very tough rules what you can show. It. Nothing sexy, nothing. Uh... So one critic was saying, you know, that was interesting because people had to be creative instead of just like now, showing everything, penis, you can, you got, uh, there's a, a Berlin bear, golden bear winner, uh, which shows you fellatio, uh, clothes saving me, and a blowjob in a, in a what, Buffalo 66, or, I mean, a, a, a mainstream, no, artsy movie, but not an XX, not a porno, a, a mainstream movie, commercial. No, no, those are commercial trying. I, I'm missing my words here. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, when this has to find a way, it becomes creative. When <laughs> Nikki was so naive, innocent, and not uh, still a virgin, she was <laughs> the sexiest woman you saw. Girl, you could find, you could meet. And we'll meet, we'll see her again tomorrow.